Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft and today I'm back with 12 amazing ways that you can use paper napkins. So if you stick with us, I will show you what we're going to do. Okay, so number one is we're going to make a card with this, but I suppose the point of it is um, we're going to die cut die cut the napkins so I've made a card base out of some pretty layering dies you can obviously use whatever you've got I've cut a smaller one for a bit of background and then I've cut another one for the inside so I've got my beautiful napkin and I've took the back ends off it already I've just got a regular piece of white card now you can use Two things, I love the zig glue pen but mine's starting to run out now um, so I've just ordered another. You can also use a Pritt stick glue stick so get the glue and you basically just want to make sure that you've got a really even smooth layer. Just make sure it's completely covered because if you start having missed bits that's when the napkins start to like but obviously it doesn't stick and then it starts to just mess up really so you want it completely covered and just nice and smooth all right so Take the napkin and I'm just going to place it on the card and just let it drop down like that. Okay, you need glue free sticky finger, uh, unsticky fingers. Start from the middle and I'll just start to press it out. So you're working from the middle and most of the time you get a really smooth application providing you haven't got glue on your fingers. If you've got glue on your fingers, see I've got it's sticky and it's going to start to tear. I may be able to get away with this because I only want so much cutting from my die. Oh, isn't that just blooming great? Well, I may actually cover it with a sentiment if I'm honest because I don't want to waste this. Okay, I've die cut it out and it's not too bad because it just kind of looks like a bit of um, sort of white you know, bit of, bit of snow or something. So that is my beautiful image. So totally die cut them as well once you've got them onto the card. So I'm going to speed this up and then I'm going to create this pretty Christmas card. so simple so quick but isn't that just so pretty so let's move on to number two okay the next one is um, heat embossing the napkins now here we here we go I've got another napkin and I've popped it just on a piece of card the same way with the glue and just pressing it down. Now I want to make mine nice and sparkly okay so I've got some embossing ink and I don't know if you've ever heard of this it's called Print Magic by Debbie Moore and it is amazing stuff. She does quite a few different colours you can see that's like a gold and a silver 
my favourite, there's hardly any left. This is called Summer Haze and it's just a really kind of clear sort of sparkly powder. Now I think these are originally for when you print something on your printer you would then cover it and heat emboss it um, but you can really use it just like embossing powder but it's a lot finer it's much more finer than regular powder so I'm going to take my ink pad and I'm just going to literally start to press it down onto the napkin take the powder and I'm going to sprinkle it on just like you would embossing powder. You'll see the difference there, the bit that I have done to the bit that I haven't done. It's just a really fine powder but it's so nice for Christmas cards or just giving you you know your project's a bit of a sparkle really so I'm going to do the rest and then it's just exactly the same as regular powder you just set it with your heat tool you'll see it starts to go like clear and then you know it's ready and that is basically it for that So we will get this heat set. Isn't that just so pretty? That has just completely changed the look of that napkin. And then it's just honestly a case of popping it on your card popping a nice sentiment on and you know you're ready to go really so if you don't have any of that I highly recommend it but I suppose you could also use clear embossing powder I don't see why it wouldn't work um, as I said it's just really embossing powder but it's very fine um, so that it doesn't just completely you know drown the image but as I said I can't see why clear embossing powder wouldn't work at all so and all you need is a pretty sentiment and it's pretty much done it's so simple it just brought the image to life hasn't it so let's move on to number three okay number three is dry embossing napkins now I did do this one in my um, 20 embossing folder techniques the other day but I am getting new subscribers every day so you may not have seen it but I've done the exact same thing, wiped it with glue and spread it over. So all I'm going to do is just trim the excess napkin away. Alright, there's my design. Now I'm using a 3D folder from Sizzix. This is called Crackle. And I need to just dampen the cardstock a little bit with some water. So I've just put a couple of sprays on the back and then I'm going to pop this in the folder and I'm going to run it through my machine. Okay so I've run it through twice and then when we take this off, how awesome is that? So we have our beautiful napkin which then it seems to just emboss more into the card, the pattern itself. That just looks so nice. So definitely 
dry emboss your napkins. Let's move on to number four. Okay, the next one is candle transfer. Now this is, it's not a real candle, it's just a battery candle. Um, and I have popped this napkin on here and I think these make brilliant little Christmas gifts. Now I've got another one because I have like a set of three of them. I don't, I think they need new batteries or yeah, a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to do it without any kind of wax paper or anything. Anything. All you really need is your napkin and an iron. Now I've got my iron on quite low. I would say it's just past the silk setting. So you only need it warm because it will melt it. Even though this is not real, it's still made with wax. So you could do it on a um, an artificial candle or a real candle. It's entirely up to you. And I've picked the napkin I want. Again, I've removed all of the backing. Now, I want my napkin just all the way around and it should be enough. I may just have to trim a tiny bit off there. Now, this is so easy to do. So start where you want the napkin. So just there, for example. And then just pull it taut. Just be careful you don't tear it because obviously it's so thin because it hasn't got any backing or anything. Take the iron and you, all you're gonna do is just start to iron it over. You'll see there that it just literally melts in to the candle. Now if you think it may need a bit more heat, just turn it up a little but you don't want to be melting the candle too much. Okay, there we go. We have got a beautiful decorated candle. So that would make a beautiful gift. You could even make the card to match because you've got the napkin. And there is a Christmas one that I did. Now they are so pretty and you don't have to mess around with wrap or anything like that. Mod Podge or nothing. So that is a, a way for you to try. Um, I do think it's just getting the iron at the right temperature. That one I've got's quite old now and the temperature's kind of fluctuating a lot. Um, but yeah, definitely have a try. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so with this one, this is kind of adding like a different medium to the napkin. So I've got a Christmas kind of napkin. Um, there it is there and I've just again like I normally do just transferred it onto the card with some glue. Now I've got some expand paste here. This is by Sizzix but you can also use that kind of oh, I don't know what you call it it's like a, a like a fake snow um, you can get other kind of different mediums a bit like this but this is really good because in the pot it it is like a really kind of creamy, well I would say beige kind of colour. All I've got is a little brush now. I know this is a watercolour brush but there's no water in it. I just wanted the um just the actual brush. I can't seem to find any other any small ones. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little bit of this paste on the brush. Okay. 
and you can see there's little bits of snow here anyway and all I'm going to do is just kind of cover them bits of uh, snow that are already printed on the napkin and in fact I can put them anywhere really anywhere where I want to have some dimensional snow so there's some on the little plant here little flower or berry just wherever you want to add it Okay, so I think I'm quite happy with that. Probably got half brushed half of it off there. And then I am gonna get my heat tool and I am just gonna put this on until it starts to expand. But then when it expands it actually turns white and it just it's awesome, it really does look like snow. So I'm just going to heat it up for a little bit. Look how amazing that is now. So it's so dimensional, you can see there. And that is just pretty amazing, isn't it? So you can really create more three-dimensional cards with them um, by adding for example this expand paste which I'll put the link in the video but now all I have to do is pop that onto a card base add a little sentiment and there's a Christmas really three-dimensional Christmas napkin card so we'll move on to the next one All right, so this one, I have another napkin here. As you can see, I've just put that one on the card. So now, again, this is a kind of another technique where you can add more to the napkin. So I've got this pattern on here, but I wanna have a stencil and I wanna add some texture paste to it. So any texture paste you've got. I'm using the Sizzix Dimensional Paste. And then of course, don't forget that you could then also add ink and you could turn it into a colored texture paste. You could add uh, mica powders, anything like that to add it, to make it a different color or make it shimmery, whatever you want. So I'm gonna put the stencil on and I'm basically just gonna do a few little random patterns on it. Now all I have to do is let that dry or dry it with a heat tool and now I have got a beautiful you know dimensional background. Now I have got an example to show you here of one that I finished off. Again another napkin I just took a stencil um, and I just put the paste over it. I then took some Distress, Distress Ink, which is, I used gathered twigs and then I just die cut a sentiment, glued it on and a little sentiment strip. So hello beautiful. And you can just see that has completely changed the look. But what I love about like napkin cards is it's the texture they have an almost kind of um like material kind of fabric kind of feel and um, so I just think that's beautiful and 
no one would know it was a napkin definitely not but when you feel it, it has that lovely uh, fabric kind of feel and I should have probably done it before but I didn't realize but yeah so you could just take your ink put a bit on whatever blending tool you're going to use and you could also ink over the texture paste when it's dry but you can then just start to give it a bit more of a distressed you know a kind of aged look you can see there in that top corner and then again it's got that beautiful fabric feel so yeah experiment with your texture pastes see what you can come up with in your inks okay so let's move on to the next one this one is um a shell now i was lucky enough to get sent some shells from a lovely lady called karen so she sent me a few of these gorgeous little shells and this isn't here now i got two big ones now what i've done with this one all i've done is i've took some white gesso i give the whole thing back and front two coats in in white gesso you could use like a white acrylic paint anything like that but gesso works just as well and then this side i coated it twice in the sizzix gold acrylic paint okay so i got two coats of that and i just let it dry overnight okay you don't have to let it dry overnight it was just i did it late on a night and then i just left it till this morning so what i want to do is i want to kind of decoupage it with a napkin and it can you can make it into like a little kind of trinket tray or something make a great little gift for somebody so i have got a little paintbrush i've got one of my nail files and i've got some mod podge now <clears throat> i've chose the sparkle mod podge you can use the clear the gloss whatever you want any kind of you know decoupage glue that type of thing and what i'm going to do with with the napkin i've already took the backings off and i'm basically just going to coat this side with some of the Mod Podge. Actually, get rid of that. So, let's take some of this and I'm just going to brush it on. You can see all the sparkles in it already. I, hope, I don't know if I can pick it up actually. It actually has beautiful sparkle in it and this is the one that I use to seal diamond art if I'm doing diamond art works so nice because it just gives it a beautiful you know kind of glittery effect so what I'm gonna do take the napkin now I want the bird kind of well just somewhere so it's definitely on the um in the middle of the shell if I can okay and then I'm going to take some more of this and I'm just going to kind of start like I'm going to press it in a little bit and I'm just going to start in the middle and I'm just going to start to brush it out take this and I'm basically just gonna just cut away some of this excess napkin that we don't need that's just hanging about
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry off a little bit because I might give it two quarts. And what you can do is just make sure that's pressed around there. And we can just actually take our file and just file off the extra bits. All right, so the little shell is now dry. See all that lovely sparkle in it there. And I want to show you something. I bought these pens from Amazon. Um, Eden, they are gold and silver. They're for glass, plastic, metal, paper, all sorts of stuff. And I just want to show you how good this is. Because can you see that there? That looks like really beautiful gold and I just want to you see that I just want to coat the edge in some gold that is absolutely beautiful these are like the best gold and silver pens I've uh, ever used. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Especially that gold gilding. Wow, that is amazing. And then I will coat the back as well with uh, a coat of glitter Mod Podge. But wouldn't that just make such a beautiful gift for somebody? That is so pretty. Uh, I'm going to keep this and just put, you know, little bits and pieces in. But yeah, definitely see if you can get yourself some shells. And I'll definitely put the links for these because these are amazing. I mean, that is like, that just looks like 18 karat gold, really. So let's move on to the next one. Right. This next technique is foiling. Now I don't know if you know, but you can actually foil over napkins. Now, I've, again, same thing, just a piece of card with my little piece of napkin on the top. And I've used the Sizzix 3D adhesive. Now, I've, I hope I'm gonna show you, because you have to let this dry clear. I think you can see just there, you can see where it's slightly bubbling up. I've just painted literally with a little brush. I've just took some of the adhesive and I've just brushed a little bit on and then I've let it go clear. So I'm using the Sizzix um, decorative foil sheets. They come in silver gold, rose gold. This is a silver one. Now you want to have it shiny side up and then I'm basically just going to pop it on and I'm going to start to rub it with uh, rub it with my thumb or finger, whatever you want to use. Just press it in and then peel it away. You can see that it actually foils. So wherever I've put that adhesive, I'm now going to have foil. So it's again, it's just another way you can use your napkins, different ways you can, you know, customise them, I suppose. And then if you think what you could also do see that there what you could also do is emboss it with an embossing folder then you could maybe paint on some of the 3d adhesive in the bits of the folder and um, that you want to pick out and then put the file on them that is just so cool so you can make your own kind of custom custom backgrounds so yeah just another thing you can do with them so let's go to the next one. All 
Okay, I have a really quick one here. Now, what I've done with this is I have embossed it with a folder and then what I've done is I've actually rubbed gilding wax on it. So I've picked up all them little features in the little flowers. Can you see that there? And it's just another way that you can customise them. So just a tiny bit of wax on your finger and then you can just literally pick up any more features that you want in the folder. Now I would bear in mind that I mean that's way too busy because it's quite a you know a, a really heavily patterned napkin. I would maybe go for something more subtle um, maybe something like that just something less patterned um, this one as well would be good and now I can't find what I've done with the napkin but just something less patterned um, as I said this is just an example to show you but yeah you can actually put gilding wax over the top so have an experiment with that and see what you can uh, come up with so we'll go on to the next one Right, the next one is decoupage and napkins. Now, I was playing, obviously I've been playing around for a little bit to do this and I thought this might be a good idea. So what I've done is again, I've took another napkin and I've just, again, attached it to some paper and I've cut it out and I'm getting ready to put it on a card base here which happens to be it's all five by five okay but what I've done is I've basically stuck two napkins down and what I'm doing is I'm actually cutting them out so I've gone for these three birds and just say that flower so I've just cut them out of another of the same like another napkin glued onto the cardstock so I've just got one more to do and in fact you don't even have to do glue the whole second napkin down you can literally just snip bits out and just glue them on which is what I've done all right so I have now got all my extra little birdies cut out and what I'm going to do as well just to kind of you know add a bit of extra I've got some embossing ink and again I've got some of the Debbie Moore print magic this is gemstone I don't know if I've, if I've used this one yet actually oh yeah maybe I have I do have a few pots of these they're so nice and all I'm going to do is literally take the little birds that I've die, uh, fussy cut out and then I'm just going to tip the print magic on them just to give them a bit of sparkle and then I will heat emboss them. So let's get this together. So I've already popped a few foam pads on the back of this basically just gonna decoupage up our little birds so just take the foam pads off and I will show you close up the the deck um sorry the heat emboss and the print magic that I've popped over the top when I've put these on
there we go. So you can see there the print magic has this kind of beautiful gloss as well. A bit like glittery glossy accents I suppose. So yeah, decoupage them. I think that's just so sweet. So let's move on to the next one. Now this one is again I have put the napkin glued it on a piece of white cardstock and this one I think you're probably best off going for a pattern let me get the napkin that isn't really directional like this one here it kind of all follows through um, you know rather than I don't know say something like this where you'll have bits that will be upside down so just probably a flowery pattern something like that's best so you can make envelopes with these now let's just say I want to make an envelope for a 4x4 four four card I need to have my card cut at 6 and 7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths and I need to score at 3.5 inches so I'm going to do that now So there you go basically you can make your own lovely envelopes and then of course you can make a little card to match with the envelope again just another way to use up your napkins or actually use your napkins and then you just round the corner on that so yeah make some envelopes with them let's move on to the next one This one is, you can also make like little boxes and bags and things like that, 3D projects with your napkins. So again, I have just glued it on to some card and I'm going to make a little 2x2 two two box. So I have cut my card to 85 by 6 and, and obviously I've had to make sure that my napkin was covering all of the cards so you would, you know, you could get away with just the bottom two squares really of the napkin. So scoreboard, now this is for a two by two box so I am going to score at two inches, four inches, six inches and eight inches all right and that will be the up and down which is good that I've got a really directional napkin. Turn it to the six and a half inch side, okay, and then I'm going to score at half an inch, then I am going to score at two and a half, and four and a half. So that is now going to be my little box. So I'll just give it a fold. Now I know the glue underneath won't be 100% dry so I would be careful with 
a bone folder until you know it's dry because you don't want to rip the napkin that's why I'm not using it so got my little box like this okay so this will be the front this will be the back okay so first of all what will be the bottom is I'm going to cut up these score lines here and then this last little rectangle I'm going to remove it just like that and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to remove all of this top one as well so we now have this so it will fold like this this will be the bottom which will all go in like so so the top I want my closure to come over so I need to get rid of this front one here so completely get rid of this one and take the score lines with you as well it just makes it more tidy you see like I'm going to cut past them so that there is no score lines visible see I've just ripped that because I know the glue isn't 100% dry so maybe just wait till the glue's dry in your napkin and then these bits here I want these to be a side so I'm gonna again cut away the score line part and then I'm just gonna cut across and just leave about half an inch on each of these two Okay. and then this will be my little box now what you can do as well is if you take a corner rounder we can round the corners and also these ones as well Just makes it more professional really So there we go, we've got a gorgeous little box <clears throat> and we can also put a little finger hole in there just to make it a bit easier to open. Just got a little circle punch, just chop a bit out for the finger hole. So I want some adhesive down here. glue that together and then I'm going to have these two in here so there we go haven't we got a just beautiful adorable little box you could put some little candles in you could put some jewelry in again you could make a matching card because you've still got your napkin left how adorable so let's move on to the next one okay so the next one is you may already know this one um, I came up with this one quite a while ago I think a few months anyway if not more and you know everybody went crazy for it so if you know it well never mind but if not this is a really good one just because I get obviously new subscribers and people may not have seen it so I've got two napkins here now I'm not even going to remove any of the backings just leave them on okay I've got my laminator on I've got just a piece of uh, card and I've got one A5 uh, regular laminating pouch and what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take the two napkins and I'm going to pop one in. Move this out of the way. I'm going to pop one in the pouch that is pattern side down. Okay. Then I'm going to pop this piece of card in just to stabilise it a bit more. I don't want it getting stuck in the laminator. And then this one, I'm going to pop this face up. As I said, you don't even need to peel the backings off. And it's sticking over, but it doesn't matter. So that's what you should have. Take your laminator and you basically just want to run it through. Alright, so that's been ran through. I'm going to take my paper trimmer and I'm basically just going to cut into the edge of the pouch. Okay, now when I take this apart, I mean keep that because you can keep it as your little laminating piece or use it again. So what we're left with is this, but obviously we have these backings on. And this is why you don't really need to take them off because what you find is they just automatically peel away from the um, laminating paper. And basically what you're left with is a beautiful laminated glossy napkin or a matte napkin if you have matte, matte laminating pouches now i've got two now so in terms of using them you can make whatever you want you could use them as like windows for your cards behind your cards um loads of stuff and what i'm going to do with these well with one of them is remember i made this little box so what I could then do is get a die offset it like that and then I could hang it on my little box so I've got a really sweet you know little matching tag with my box but yeah they, they make brilliant like if you have an aperture in your card you can have this behind it um, I've even made little little tiny um, little bags with them and little Christmas crackers because you can die cut them and punch them just like you can with paper and card but um, you don't have to worry about wrinkles or anything this way so yeah um, give this a try because this is pretty amazing but yeah, you can do all sorts of little matching things and stuff. So, let's move on to the next one. Alright, now this one, um, I don't actually have the video for you now, but I am going to put it up in the top uh, corner, left or right hand corner, because I don't have any coasters left. But this was a tutorial I did I think last year and as I said I'll put the link for it now but it's all made with napkins I mean apart from the box but that is the napkin and inside I have got these beautiful coasters um, MDF coasters that are decorated with the same napkin um, I sealed them and wouldn't this just make a beautiful gift and it really isn't hard to do and you can see there's no wrinkles on those coasters whatsoever. No wrinkles at all. So I'll put the link. I would have loved to have made some, but I don't have any of these left, so I can't. But I'll definitely, definitely give this a try because it would just make a beautiful gift for somebody. Um, so I'm going to pop that in there and I'm going to quickly show you a few little kind of examples of like today's stuff that I had made um, let me get me a little box out so we've these are the ones we've done in the videos um, but again with the die cutting 
that is just stuck onto card again and I've just die cut it with a word die and then I've just die cut it with blue card and give it like a, a, sh a drop shadow effect so you can use them to die cut whatever you want but I think that just looks so pretty and um, this one is another beautiful Christmassy one and again I covered it with the expand paste that's gorgeous isn't it it's so pretty um, and then I just stemmed a little sentiment inside but I also made the matching envelope well no I didn't I'm lying I made the envelope from card and I just glued another napkin on the top again I put the expand paste on for the snow but that would just make a beautiful Christmas card for somebody really really special and then you could give them a beautiful <coughs> napkin um sorry a coaster set to match so beautiful and um, that was the card that we made in the beginning and that was the other one we made with just the expand paste on and that was the gorgeous one with the glittery embossing on so yeah i just think they look so pretty so pretty so i hope you've enjoyed it um you can still vote in the craft awards i'll put the link below and um, thanks for all the new subscribers i've had so many and the views on my last few videos have been absolutely mind-blowing so it's obvious people like this kind of thing so i think for now i'm just going to stick with that uh, i'll be back on sunday with something very similar and um, that kind of thing so take care thanks for watching and bye for now mm -hmm.